Happy New Year! January 1st, 2022. Let's hope it's a good one without any fear. We can only hope, folks. I'm being optimistic for this year. Let me turn down the Beatles. Happy Banjos. You're familiar with it. I've played it in the past. Happy Banjos, Beatles style. I hope you enjoy it. And before I get started, I'm sure you've noticed a big change in the Matthew Street channel. <laughs> yes, folks. After 60 years, I finally made the plunge. My lovely wife, Mrs. Street. God bless her. You've never met Mrs. Street in person, but I have a little picture over here and a little picture when she was a little girl in like first or second grade. And Mrs. Street was so kind to spend $4,000 on a brand new toupee for Matthew Street. She said, well, you know, hon, you're coming up on 3,000 subscribers. You know, that's a milestone and you've got a Beatles channel, pretty much music and Beatles. She said, you gotta, you got to look the part. You can't. You can't go on there and, and, and not look the part, you know? You need, you need more hair, man. You need more fluff, you know? So, thank you, Mrs. Street. I appreciate it. I hope you like the new look. Um, very expensive. It's woven into my skull with uh, nails and screws. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, my goodness, folks. Come on. You know me better than that. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> what, what a way to start off 2022, right? A little silliness. But anyway, folks, let's get to the whole point of this video. Now, back in the 60s, we had plenty, plenty of Beatles memorabilia. I mean, there were things like, I mean, this I don't think is an original, but they had the little old bobbleheads. There's a John Lennon bobblehead mini, like cake. You could put this on a cake. But they had the giant size ones. They had things like that. They had... The most famous one, the one I always wanted when I was a little kid, and I never could get one because by the time I became of age, it was coming into the later 60s, and these things were pretty much, you know, I, I didn't know how to find one, but the old Beatles Remco dolls made by Remco Corporation, you know, these were like, when you were a little kid and a Beatles fan, you wanted these, but like I said, I was a few years too young to get them when they were hot so by the time in the 68 69 rolled around and i really wanted one of these i didn't know how to go about acquiring one or getting one there was no ebay or place to go to get a remco doll but here's the john lennon one and then we went into a dry period folks of having beatles figurines dolls characters whatever you want to call it it was it was drying up by the late 60s coming into the 70s Forget it. You could not find some really cool Beatles figurines like that for his, for a kid. You know, to give the kid something. They were pretty much uh, not being uh, put onto the market at that point. They were either out of print or out of manufacture, whatever you want to call it. You just couldn't find any. There was no internet. There was no way, unless you somebody gave you one, an older cousin or brother or sister, there was no way you didn't know how to find one. You know, when you're eight, nine years old, you're not driving yourself to a local flea market or a shop to get something like that. So, tell you a funny story. I used to resort to alternate stand-ins for the Beatles when I wanted to play. You remember when you were kids, you played with your G.I. Joes, your Army Men or whatever. You know, you had your little thing going, playing with your characters and stuff. And I used to do something kind of silly. If I, if I was crazy, just tell me, or if you did something like this. But I remember wanting to play Beatles, put on my Beatles records, and like pretend I was watching the Beatles. There was no YouTube then, or VHS tapes, or you were lucky if once, twice a year on your local UHF station, you could see, uh, you know, maybe Help and Yellow Submarine or something. That was about it. So I used to get stuffed animals that I had, or stuffed characters, and make them stand-ins for the Beatles as I put on my Beatle albums. <laughs> and I used to love to like set them up on like a little stage. And I would have, I remember having, I had this Pink Panther and Pepe Le Pew dolls or stuffies that could stand up on their own. They, they were like, they could stand up. 
and I had a Snoopy that could also stand up. So those were the front three. Those were, I forget who was who, but one of them was John, one was Paul, and one was George. I would stand up Pepe Le Pew, Pink Panther, and Snoopy in the front and tape little paper guitars to them, you know. And then I had this crayon box, which was a round circle. Almost, if you stood it up on its side, it kind of looked like a bass drum. I would stand that up on its side in the back make a little stage out of a cardboard box, put it up on there. And then we had this little bean beanbag frog. It was a frog, but made out of beanbag materials. So you could put them in a sitting position and make them just kind of sit there behind the uh, faux bass drum. And I would set it up like that when I was I know, a little kid, eight, nine years old, and then play Beatle records and just sit there and, and watch them. <laughs> That's great, you know, that's why I'm the way I am today, folks. I, mean, I don't know. But, you know, it was lean years, you know. If you were a little kid and wanted to play Beatles or have your Beatles, unless you had the Remco dolls or some other figurines, which I didn't have, you had to re resort to alternate methods to playing Beatles, <laughs> so to speak. I mean, it's the same thing with wrestlers, you know, back in the day in the 70s and in the 60s, they didn't have wrestling dolls or figurines, so, you know, me and my younger brothers were into wrestling, WWF wrestling, there was no figurines, and when the 80s came, it all exploded, and you can get all kinds of wrestling figures and characters, and they even make plastic rings, but I digress. So with the Beatles, that all changed in the 80s and up to today. You have companies like Applause, Esco, Hamilton, McFarland, and so many more. They started to produce Beatle figurines, Beatle figures for kids to play with. And tons have been produced. And, and, and certainly I don't have them all, folks. I have a handful if I'm lucky. Okay, but just to show you a few of them, one of the first uh, figurines I remember coming out was by the Applause Company. Now, I have the big ones. I have the large, like 18-inch high Sgt. Pepper set. And I also have the early Beatles set in their black suits with their plastic guitars. They came out around 1987. But there was a smaller set that came out, and I'll show you that one. It's even rarer than the bigger ones. My large ones are packed away, unfortunately, and I, I don't have an opportunity to get them out for you. But I do have this little John Lennon one. By the way, if you'll notice, I'm showing all John Lennon editions. Uh, this little John Lennon one comes with a plastic Rickenbacker guitar with his little collarless suit and his beetle boots and applause made this set it's very rare it's a hard set to get so if you have it hang on to it and then they made like I said the larger ones which are about twice this size that are in black suits and then they had a sergeant pepper edition in the colorful sergeant pepper suits so hats off to the applause company because they were the first one I remember coming out in the mid 80s or so making new Beatles figurines or dolls, whatever you want to call it. And this was one of the first. Around that same time, the Esco company made these big, like, plaster of Paris figures. You could buy them in cigar shops, smoke shops, at the local mall or something. They made all kinds of figures. W.C. Fields, the Three Stooges, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. They all had these big giant heads and little bodies and were on these stands. You saw them a lot in bars and places like that. And I bought the set of Beatles, and as you can see, here's my John Lennon. Very nice, nice collectible. So this was about mid-80s, mid to late 80s. Let me put him over there. I don't want him to get broken, God forbid. And then uh, around the early 90s or so, the Hamilton Company started making something that I could only have dreamed of having when I was a little kid. They made these vinyl Beetle dolls, the Hamilton Company. Let me fix John's Rickenbacker here. And uh, uh, anyway, you get the idea. Uh, comes with a little strap. As you can see, there's John. Very true to life figurine, size wise, and everything. All four Beatles. Ringo came with a real nice drum set. I have all four of them, but I'm showing you the Lennon one here. Very nice. And as I said, I, this would have been a dream when I was a little kid to have these Hamilton dolls. They made these in the early 90s, and then they went out of production, and now you can get them on eBay and such, but I think it's a beautiful set made out of vinyl, and nice, something for you to really look for, folks, I recommend. And then a few years after that, I want to say later 90s, coming into the 2000s, 
I don't have all of mine, but they, the McFarlane Company made beautiful Sgt. Pepper editions. Here's a Lennon, happens to be one of my Lennon ones. This belonged to one of my kids, so the trombone is broken, but uh, I was able to dig this one out, John Lennon. There was the regular Lennon Yellow Submarine one. And if I can move Mrs. Street for a minute here. And you had companies like um, Fisher Price recently, as recently as last year, made these Fisher Price Little People Beatles, which are very nice. So, as you can see, folks, a lot of companies are getting on the bandwagon of reissuing Beatles. Here's another nice McFarland I have of John, Cartoon John. So, McFarland did some nice yellow submarine additions, but they also did a beautiful set of early Beatles from the cartoon era. Very nice, made of plastic, hard resin plastic. Very nice set to get. I have all four Beatles again. And I'm showing Lennon for a reason. I want to show John for a reason because I have two new John figurines I want to show you. So, we've been spoiled, folks. As I said, tons have been produced. I only have a few of, you know, all four Beatles in these sets. But I think we're spoiled nowadays because just one click, you can go onto eBay or Amazon or some of these different companies, and you can have any Beatles figurine you want. So you can play Beatles to your heart's content. You, you can set up whatever you want to do, put on any Beatles record you want, and have a party. <laughs> just go, go crazy. So... I just thought I'd show you the two recent ones I just received. Now, there's two more coming out by this set. This is um, Funko is making uh, John Lennon Funko Pop figures. And there's two more coming out I have on pre-order. And I'll show those when I get them. But I just received my two uh, recent purchases. One is the John Lennon in his pea coat with the peace sign. As you remember from this famous Statue of Liberty picture. This is number 247 Funko. That's what, just so you can see exactly what he looks like there. And there's the actual figurine inside. Has his little newsboy cap on, he's got his pea coat on, he's got the peace sign going, he's looking cool. <laughs> Pretty neat. So I thought I'd show you that. And then the most recent one I just got in is the John Lennon New York City t-shirt one. Famous, famous image with the glasses, the cool t-shirt. That's what he looks like there. Number 240. And there's the figure. Nice, nice little collectible of John. So these are my two recent Funko Pop figures. And like I said, I have two more on the way. Um, they're an image of John from his one-to-one -one concert in 1972 at Madison Square Garden, New York City, where he's wearing the army shirt, and he's got the cool guitar and the glasses and all that. There's an edition coming out of that Funko Pop uh, this month, January of 2022, and then there's one that goes along with it that's kind of the black and white image of that, if you can picture it, with multicolored round John Lennon glasses. Looked very cool, so I'm looking forward to getting those. So, again, folks, I just wanted to show you my two Funko Pops, John Lennon, and as I said, I'll have more things to show you soon. I didn't want to try to cram everything into one video, and so I just wanted to speak a little bit about my Beetle figurines and how fun they are and how I only could wish when I was a little boy in the late 60s coming into the early 70s we could have had cool stuff like this. I mean, I, I would have loved, loved, loved to have this stuff. So for me... Matthew Street and for Mrs. Street. Got to get Mrs. Street back in there. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for participating in my first video in a week. <laughs> my first video in 2022. And hopefully there'll be many more folks. So happy you're here. Such a pleasure. Such an honor to do this for you. Beatles forever, folks. Beatles forever. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.